Hi everybody, it's Diana at NatureWorks and this is such an exciting day. We are going to start tagging monarchs today. Um, so I, I said I'd do a video on the day we started and we have a bunch that have hatched today um, and they're ready to go and I wanna let them out. So I'm going to explain why we tag and then show you how to do it. So first of all, this is what I mean by a tag. It is a tiny sticker that you actually put on the monarch butterfly's wing and it's got a serial number on it and it's also got a website on it. And if you ever see a butterfly with these tags, if you could take a picture of the butterfly, you can report the tag that you see to this website called monarchwatch.org. And this helps scientists track the migration of the monarch butterflies. Uh, the butterflies that are in this case right here are what we call the super generation. They are the butterflies that were born uh, usually end of August and September for our area. And these monarch butterflies will actually hopefully fly all the way to Mexico and spend the entire winter in the mountains of Mexico, which is just amazing. It's over 3000 miles away. So if our tag is found in Mexico, it's reported to this website and we have had about five or six tags found in Mexico. So butterflies that release that we release here in our little garden center in Northford, Connecticut, fly over 3,000 miles and are found in Mexico. And that's amazing. Um, and this just helps scientists study the migration of the monarch butterfly. And it's cool to be involved in something like this. So I know many of you tag at home. Some of you told me you're gonna be tagging for the first time. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Um, monarch Watch sends us the tags and they give very detailed instructions. And the first time you do it, it's really scary because you're, you're t always taught to never touch a butterfly, but you can touch a butterfly just very carefully. Um, this is where they want the sticker to go. It's in a certain area on the wing called a discal cell. They've found that the butterfly can fly best when the sticker is placed there and it doesn't hurt the butterfly at all. So what we have to do, I'll slide this in. This is our spreadsheet and we're gonna put the tag code there, the date, I might as well do this right now. So our first tag is ACUG625. And today is August 31st, 2021. So we're gonna take a butterfly out. I'm gonna write down if it's a, fem if it's, um, a male or female in this box. And then I'm gonna write if it's a wild butterfly or a reared butterfly. And all of these in this net are reared. We found the eggs on our milkweed out in the garden and we raise them outside mostly to um, mimic natural conditions. And they were, um, they turned into butterflies. So they're, we reared them, they're not wild caught. Um, some, some people like to tag wild butterflies so they get a butterfly net and they actually net the butterflies that are just flying around like at ham and asset and they put the sticker on them there so i'm going to show you how to do it uh one other thing i'll show you this first because it'll make understanding the male and female a little bit easier the male monarchs have these two dots or scent glands on the back of their wings and the wing the black part of the wing is a little bit thinner the female monarchs do not have those two dots and they have like thicker black marks on their wings so that's how we tell so i will get right to it it does help to have a partner to write down your information if you're doing a bunch um, so i just don't want these to blow away so i'm going to kind of stick them under here a little bit okay so i'm going to get my first butterfly so I very carefully, and I usually grab it with my left hand, even though I'm right-handed, because I put the sticker on with my right hand. So, oh good, you're being very good, little butterfly. I grab all the wings together so it can't flap around. Just like that. So it, if it could flap around right now, it might get one of its wings bent or something. So right now it's just stable. So I'm going to get my tag. 
tan. It's okay if you put it on upside down or sideways. It just needs to be on this discal cell. So I have it under my nail. You don't want to touch the back of the tag because then it won't stick properly. And you place it right there. And then you want to give it a decent little squeeze to make sure it's stuck on the butterfly. And then we can just let him go. So, oh, this is a boy. Um, so I'm gonna write that down and I'll show you how I know it's a boy. Um, hopefully he'll stay for a second on some flowers. Let's go over to this butterfly bush. Um, and if he stays for a second, he'll open his wings and he might start eating right away or he might just fly away. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> I'll do another one and we'll see. So, look at, they usually, if you could look up in the sky, they like to fly across the street to those tall trees. They do this a lot actually. And then later on in a few hours, sometimes we'll see them on our plant benches because we have so many plants that they like to eat. They like to nectar. So it's important to plant fall plants that are blooming that monarchs like because it helps them to nectar up to, for their long journey to Mexico. So this one is another male. And this is number ACUG626, reared, okay, get the tag. And if you ever come to NatureWorks and we have butterflies to release um, and tag this month, we invite you to help us. So like I have an audience here, if you'd like to try one, we'd love to have you try one. All right, let's go over on these flowers over here. Let's try the echinacea, maybe that'll, it'll, he'll stay a little bit more. Just want you to see if it's a male or a female. The goal is not to keep him here, but. So if you can see the two dots on his wings right there, when he opens them. Isn't that beautiful? So that is a male monarch butterfly. So I'll try to pull a female out of the bunch here. Oh, and there it goes. You get pretty good at knowing when the wings are closed if they're males or females. Now I'm 99% sure that this is a female, so I'm gonna write down female. ACUG627 is the serial number. So if you guys that live around us in Connecticut ever see one of these butterflies with a sticker that begins with ACUG, it might have started here at NatureWorks. Okay, so we'll go back over by that echinacea. Um, Oh, and the male has flown away. So let's see if she'll stay for a minute. So there's no dots on the back of her wings. So what we do is we wish these guys luck on their journey to Mexico. Um, hopefully the weather that we're gonna be having in a couple days won't bother them. They'll find some trees to hunker down in and we'll release every day. We release like in the afternoon, the butterflies that hatch that day. We don't keep them in this cage because that's not what we want to do. We want to let them go. So just to show you what we do here, we've got an educational display set up that's here all the time. As long as we have some caterpillars, we'll have some caterpillars for you to see. This is how we rear the butterflies. And then when they're chrysalises, we carefully move them to this cage. And you're probably wondering how I do that, but that's a different video. And I actually learned how to do that by Googling, how do you transfer a monarch butterfly into a different container? And you can find anything on YouTube. Um, but basically we transfer them with some tape and then we pin them all in here. So these are just the chrysalises. If you could um, kind of zoom in from here and show the chrysalises. have our wonderful college student Kiana videoing for me. This is her last day for the summer. She's going back to school. We're gonna miss you. <laughs> All right. So that's what we do. Um, we will tag until we run out of tags. We've got, I think we ordered 250 tags this year. Some years we've done as many as 750, but we're we're letting nature kind of take its course a little more this this time so come on by um we've got 
bench is full of flowering plants. We're gonna go crazy for fall planting. Um, fall planting season is just beginning. Weather's perfect, the soil's warm, plants love to be planted in fall. So we hope to see you soon and hopefully you'll get to tag a butterfly when you come. Thank you so much, bye.